Welcome back, Raider Nation. It's Joseph here for Zenny 62. So there's a lot that I could say with regards to the benching of Derek Carr. Um, I did not like the way everything went down. I understand the business aspect of it. Uh, him being owed so much money if he got hurt, especially in the last two games, playing prior to the number one defense in the NFL with the 49ers. But when you stop to consider uh, the, everything that's transpired, Derek was not an elite quarterback. There were times that all of Raider Nation had issues with the play aspects of, of his uh, him being the quarterback of the team. But if you really stop to think about it, we haven't had a decent quarterback, a good quarterback since Rich Gannon. And prior to that, you go back to Jim Plunkett in 83. Just the Raider organization as a whole has been so dysfunctional that Derek Carr is a good quarterback that McDaniels, maybe purposely, did not scheme to his strengths. So the way this transpired and the way that everything seems to be happening, Derek Carr did not deserve uh, to be treated this way. He did not have the opportunity to say goodbye to the fans. We know how dedicated and loyal he bled silver and black. And I know it's a big disappointment for him to go out this way. There's so much more that I want to say and get down to the minutia of things. And I've had a lot of thoughts since all this transpired. So I want to get that yet into that maybe at a later time when I have more time. But I just briefly wanted to show you this. This picture was taken just recently um, at the Raider Image Store at Allegiant Stadium. Yeah, this was taken by... One of my uh, Booster Club brothers, Sam Madrona, who I believe is out there for the game against the 49ers. And that, I think so, again, I think it's so disrespectful, so quick. But what this picture, besides uh, advertising 50% off all his jerseys and, and gear, is that the writing is on the wall. Some of us thought that, that maybe there'd be a possibility that he would come back on a restructured contract, similar to Garoppolo in terms of they released him and they brought him back after February 15th. Uh, well, in this case, the thought process was that the car would be probably be back after February 15th after that whole uh, contract situation and that he would restructure to come back one more year to either... Uh, to possibly mentor a young quarterback, but that didn't seem they are even interested in doing that. Uh, you don't basically put this huge sale on everything he has his name on if you have no intentions to bring him back. And, and that 50% discount had to come from uh, up above uh, because this the writing's on the wall. They just don't want him anymore. And again, I just thought, this was not the proper way to handle it. And I did speak to a lot of people like Linda Cohen from ESPN. And she had mentioned to me that one of the other sports analysts brought up to her was why would anybody want to go to Vegas because of the way they tr treated Derek Carr when they know that Derek Carr, everyone knows in the NFL that he bled silver and black and he put everything into what he had for this organization, but because it's so dysfunctional, uh, the fingers get pointed at him. And there's many that believe that he was a scapegoat. And so that was telling. Uh, but when it comes to money and getting paid to be a Raider, there will always be uh, available players that want to play, even if it's for the short term, uh, to get a paycheck. So... Keep it here on Zanny 62 and don't forget to like and subscribe.